This video is brought to you by Ultium. In today's episode, you will learn how to measure AC current with Arduino using a split core current transformer or CD claim current sensor, which I recently got from the DF robot. Previously, I used the MAX471 and ACS712 current sensor modules for measuring the current. I used the MAX471 current sensor for measuring the current of a 12 volt DC MC PCB LED module and I used the ACS712 current sensor for measuring the AC current as I had to monitor the load status. With ACS712 current sensor, I was able to monitor whether the load was normal or it was overloaded. No doubt the ACS712 current sensor module is the cheapest, while the Gravity Analog AC current sensor is a bit expensive which costs $19.9 USD, but still I recommend this split core current transformer over the ACS712 and other low cost AC current sensor modules. Because if you go with the ACS712 current sensor module, then you will have to cut the wire so that you can connect the ACS712 current sensor in series with a load which is quite a time consuming job and also there are high chances of getting an electric shock. While on the other hand, the split core current transformer eliminates the need to cut wires. Simply claim the AC transformer prop on the AC line and then plug the 3.5mm headphone jack into the signal conversion module to read the AC current value. The analog output is designed to be compatible with 3.3V and 5V compatible controller boards. It can be conveniently used for AC current measurement to monitor AC motors, lighting equipment, air compressors, etc. So using this split core current transformer with Arduino, you can build yourself a smart home energy meter. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to measure the current of these four lights. I'll be connecting one bulb at a time and then we will see how the load current varies. So before I'm going to explain the technical specifications, circuit diagram and programming, first let's watch the split core current transformer sensor in action. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. While using these low energy 0 watts light bulbs, I don't see any prominent changes in the current, so I'm going to use another bulb that slightly draws more current. Now you can see the current is around 0.1 amps. With this project, you can monitor the AC current and this way you can build yourself a smart home energy meter. Anyways, you can read the current value on the display and only then you can decide if the load under test is drawing less or more current. It seems quite impractical to sit in front of the display. A better way is to program the Arduino in a way that each time the load exceeds a predefined value, it turns on the buzzer and then I can go ahead and switch off the unnecessary loads. And this is what I'm going to do next. I modified the code and also added this 5-fold buzzer with the Arduino. 
let's say this is my normal load which draws around 0.1 amps and I'm going to assume 0.2 amps as the maximum load. So if the load increases above 0.2 amps, I want the Arduino to turn on the buzzer. For demonstration purposes, I'll use this other bulb which draws more current. So if I replace any of these bulbs with this one, the buzzer should turn on. This is simply amazing using only a few electronic components you can build yourself a smart load monitoring system or a home energy monitor. You can further modify this project. Instead of turning on the buzzer, you can use a relay to turn off the loads. You can also use a GSM module to send an alert message each time the load exceeds a predefined value. I will do it in one of my upcoming videos. Anyways, now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Simply claimed the AC transformer prop on the AC line. The current transformer is further connected with a current sensor model which measures the AC current. Now you might be thinking about how this CT or current transformer measures the current. As you know that when current is flowing in the wire, a magnetic field is created which is proportional to the current flowing in the wire. The current transformer will transform this current into a small current. This current will go further to the sensor module which will convert this current into a voltage that is given as the input to the controller for further processing. This sensor can measure up to 20 amps of current flowing through the wire. This sensor has high voltage isolation in the circuit design for safety reasons and a non-conductive acrylic plate has been attached to the bottom of the PCB to prevent accidents such as short circuits, electric shocks and any other potential danger. It is simple to use and easy to connect to all Arduino compatible boards. It is ideal for any automation control application. It features non-contact measurement which offers high safety offers multiple ranges for various measurement scenarios and it's compatible with 3.3 volt and 5 volt microcontroller boards including Arduino boards, ESP32, ESP8266, STM32, etc. This is the AC current signal conversion module. The input voltage range is 3.3 volts to 5 volts. It comes with a three pins interface which makes it extremely easy to use. All the three pins are clearly labeled. A is the analog voltage output 0.2 volts to 2.8 volts DC. This pin is connected with the analog pin of the controller board. The plus pin is connected with the 3.3 volts or 5 volts. The minus pin is connected with the ground. You can see this A letter with AC sign which means it only works with the AC currents. This is the open type AC transformer prop or the split core current transformer prop. Its AC current range is 0 to 20 amps. Accuracy is plus minus 1%. The frequency range is 50 hertz to 1 kilohertz. Working temperature is minus 25 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius and it weighs around 50 grams. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. The split core current transformer prop is connected with the AC current signal conversion module using a 3.5 mm headphone jig. 
The A pin is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. The plus and minus pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground pins. The SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module ground and VCC pins are connected with the Arduino's ground and 5 volts. The SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's I2C pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. On the bottom right side a 5 volt buzzer is connected with the Arduino's pin number 5. I am using a 2N2222 NPN transistor to control this buzzer. On the top left side you can see a regulated 5 volt power supply based on the 705 voltage regulator. You can use this power supply to power up your Arduino using a 12 volts adopter, 3S or 4S level battery pack or a 12 volt lead acid battery or a solar panel etc. J1 is the DC female power jack and this is where you connect your external power supply. Don't forget to add these 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors with the input and output legs of the 7805 voltage regulator. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download the Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD1306 libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The purpose of this code is to measure the AC current and to turn on and turn off the buzzer when the current increases or decreases below 0.2 amps and it also displays the current value on the OLED display module. You can download this code from my article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's watch the Arduino and split core current transformer based current monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.